Don Juan peered at me in the dark and in a very dramatic tone said that while Don Gennaro was horsing around, sitting on his head, I was on the very verge of seeing. Don Gennaro noticed it and repeated his maneuvers over and over to no avail because I had lost the thread right away. Don Juan said that afterward, Don Gennaro, moved by his personal liking for me, attempted in a very dramatic way to bring me back to the verge of seeing. After very careful deliberation, he decided to show me a feat of equilibrium by crossing the waterfall. He felt that the waterfall was like the edge on which I was standing and was confident I could also make it across. Don Juan then explained Don Gennaro's feat. He said that he had already told me that human beings were, for those who saw, luminous beings composed of something like fibers of light which rotated from the front to the back and maintained the appearance of an egg. He said that he also told me that the most astounding part of the egg-like creatures was a set of long fibers that came out of the area around the navel. Don Juan said that those fibers were of the utmost importance in the life of a man. Those fibers were the secret to Don Gennaro's balance and his lesson had nothing to do with acrobatic jumps across the waterfall. His feat of equilibrium was in the way he used those tentacle-like fibers. Sorcerers act towards people in accordance to the way they see their tentacles. Weak persons have very short, almost invisible fibers. Strong persons have bright, long ones. Gennaro's, for instance, are so bright that they resemble thickness. You can tell from the fibers if a person is healthy or if he is sick, or if he is mean or kind or treacherous. You can also tell from the fibers if a person can see. Here is a baffling problem. When Gennaro saw you, he knew, just like my friend Vincente did, that you could see. When I see you, I see that you can see, and yet I know myself that you can't. How baffling. Gennaro could not get over that. I told him that you were a strange fool. I think he wanted to see that for himself and took you to the waterfall. At the waterfall, when you looked at Gennaro moving across the water, you believed he was a master of somersaults, because somersaults was all you could think about. And that is all you will ever believe he did. Yet Gennaro never jumped across that water. If he had jumped, he would have died. Gennaro balanced himself on his superb bright fibers. He made them long, long enough so that he could, let's say, roll on them across the waterfall. He demonstrated the proper way to make those tentacles long and how to move them with precision. Pablito saw nearly all of Gennaro's movements. Nestor, on the other hand, saw only the most obvious maneuvers. He missed the delicate details. But you, you saw nothing at all. If you could see, he said, it would have been obvious to you from the first step that Gennaro took that he was not slipping as he went up the side of the waterfall. He was loosening his tentacles. Twice he made them go around boulders and held to the sheer rock like a fly. When he got to the top and was ready to cross the water, he focused them onto a rock in the middle of the stream, and when they were secured there, he let the fibers pull him. Gennaro never jumped. Therefore, he could land on the slippery surfaces of small boulders at the very edge of the water. His fibers were at all times neatly wrapped around every rock he used. He did not stay on the first boulder very long because he had the rest of his fibers tied onto another one, even smaller, at the place where the onrush of water was the greatest. His tentacles pulled him again and he landed on it. That was the most outstanding thing he did. The surface was too small for a man to hold on to, and the onrush of water would have washed his body over the precipice had he not had some of his fibers still focused on the first rock. He stayed in that second position for a long time because he had to draw out his tentacles again and send them across to the other side of the fall. When he had them secured, he had to release the fibers focused on the first rock. That was very tricky. Perhaps only Gennaro could do that. He nearly lost his grip, or maybe he was only fooling us. We'll never know that for sure. Personally, I really think he nearly lost his grip. I know that because he became rigid and sent out a magnificent shoot, like a beam of light across the water. I feel that beam alone could have pulled him through. 
When he got to the other side, he stood up and let his fibers glow like a cluster of lights. That was the one thing he did just for you. If you had been able to see, you would have seen that. Gennaro stood there looking at you, and then he knew that you had not seen.